<coughs> Kia ora guys, welcome for a, a new tip. On this tip 88, I keep uh, talking about app for desktop uh, with the last uh, thing uh, that I miss on the last uh, tip. Now I want to show you something different. So the advanced part of edits. Um, let's go to find a video. Uh, for example, I choose this video. All right. So <coughs> once click, uh, maybe we can choose uh, two videos. So control or command if you have a Mac. So and you can choose uh, all uh, uh, your videos or photo that you want to edit. As you can see, there is two items selected at the moment. Um, I can directly share on uh, on the social media as, as seen on the last tip. If not, uh, we can delete, of course, or we can uh, open in studio. I... Let's wait for the opening of GoPro Studio. We have the preview of our video. So this is the preview. So first thing that we have to do uh, on uh, GoPro Studio is to convert the convert the files. Uh, basically, we have a raw file. Uh, once converted, is with more quality. We can set some uh, um, different settings. For example, if I click here, I can rotate uh, uh, my footage. If not, I can go on advanced settings. It's very easy, and very fast. You can choose the image size, the frame rate. I leave at the moment 2997 and 1920 for 1080. Uh, you can speed up the video, it's not this case. You can change the file format, but I recommend you to keep move sorry move and the quality is height uh, you can remember the setting for the next time i press ok and we able to go uh, go, go so i want to convert this clip just pressing add clip to conversion list you can uh, as you can have a, you can have a list of uh, a lot of editing i just press convert all on this tip, I explain you very fast how to use GoPro Studio. Of course, this is a quick tutorial for beginners, for advanced expert guys using GoPro edits. Of course, maybe they can use GoPro Studio or even other softwares. Once the conversion is complete, you can uh, you can write complete here. You get uh, we click on proceed to step two. Now on step 2 is an important uh, thing, I have to choose uh, the template. I can use a, a basic template um, as a sample of GoPro, for example on, uh, on this one I have uh, 14 cuts, uh, 1 minute and 2 seconds is, the lo uh, is how long is the video and I can just fill inside my videos with a preset uh, music. But in this case, we go on blank template, so it uh, does mean that we have uh, to create all our videos, starting from the music, the clips, uh, and the editing, of course. So I press on create. I just show you a sample uh, editing of the video. Here is our video. I can cut uh, some parts of the video. For example, I don't want the first part. I can press this button and marking the video so the video will start from this uh, uh, from this part from this uh, scenario i go on for example i want to close my video here i just press this one so now our uh, now the video is stopped at 31.8 seconds and the last the dura duration of the video is 24 and 13 uh, once selected, once stream your video, you can uh, put it on the timeline. Uh, you can even uh, put music or title. So just press media and find the music on your hard disk. Now I have my music. I just drag the music here. 
once drag the music on the music session I can cut the part that I don't need and I can uh, delete so I just press this part I press delete so I delete the second part so clicking on the music you can go on this menu on the right so you can fade in the music fade down fade out music I fade in and fade out a bit I put down the level so let's try the video This is the video, uh, I press uh, another time on the video timeline, uh, so as you see there is uh, disappeared a new menu, I can control a lot of things like the speed, like the fade in and fade out video, as now, we can check the audio controls as we've seen before, we can uh, control the colors, uh, set the tint, now I want to create something very weird to show you how it can work like that. How we can change exposition, exposure, sorry, we can change contrast, so be less contrast, more saturation. Um can even choose the sharpness. We can zoom in, zoom out, uh, rotate the video. Uh, yeah, we can zoom a bit. Yeah, we can create a lot of things uh, as we can do on the other uh, editing software. We can even flip horizontal or vertical. We can use keyframes, as I explained in uh, other tips. And then uh, definitely, and then at the end you can choose a uh, presets. Uh, you have the Pro Tool preset like this, oh, 1970. You have a lot of things. Uh, I want to leave, yeah, let's leave uh, 1970 for this video. Once you finish, one uh, you think, uh, one time that you think uh, video is finished, uh, you can uh, go on step three. Now we will, uh, we are in step two. So click on step three. Uh, we can uh, directly. Uh, save our video for YouTube compatibility, Vimeo, HD720, HD1080 uh, or UHD 4K. We can even uh, save for edit again or we can change, um, we can choose a custom, uh, sorry, or we can choose the custom saving. Um, for example, I go on YouTube, uh, the recommended bitrate for YouTube is 8 uh, mega, megabyte, uh, megabit per second. Uh, with the, um, here you can see the frame rate, the source and the file format is MP4. Uh, here you we have the estimated file size and the video length. It's okay. For me it's okay. We can start exporting. Just uh, put a name on your video. Wait uh, till the end and uh, wait till uh, your video is complete and then you can enjoy or you can uh, you can enjoy your video or you can upload it on social media. It's all for today. Bye bye from London. UK.